there. Yeah, I mean, they are obviously just glad to be alive, and that is the blessing in all of this. Montgomery County Fire says no injuries. They said they have finally accounted for all members of their family because they were sleeping when this all happened. I want to step out of the way and show you the damage we're looking at. I mean, just in the last hour, they still have been working to put out hot spots. We showed you some embers about an hour ago in the top level of that townhouse. Montgomery County Fire, though, says that this is just complete structural damage. We're going to give you a look from the chopper from above, but they said they evacuated everyone in the townhouse as that neighbor it on either side because this is the middle townhouse that is the one that caught fire. They said they hadn't yet been able to get the investigator in to figure out, you know, where that fire might have started, what the cause was. But again, this family told us that they were sleeping when this happened. Luckily, they did hear some of the commotion. I spoke with the son who said that, you know, he tried to wake everyone up and get them all out. He said, unfortunately, he didn't think that they were able to save their pets. He said that they had at least three pets inside, so they're looking to see their conditions. But again, no reported injuries, but there is a ton of structural damage, according to Montgomery County Fire. And as you mentioned, they've had about 100 firefighters out here all morning trying to fight this. And now the next step is figuring out what caused this. But take a listen to the mom of this household. We talked to her just moments after she finally reunited with her family. My son coming. Mom, get out of here. The house get on fire. I was in the living room and I yes. My daughter and my my brother upstairs. I want them to come. I want, I want to call them. They come without without nothing, and finally we don't find my brother. I was so worried for him, and the smoke already the, the smoke catch us because, and we cannot see. And I'm still saying we don't lose anything. We are here. We are alive. Again, as they work to make sure that all of those hot spots are out, then the investigators come in and will try to figure out what caused this fire that basically destroyed that one townhouse and damaged the ones on either side as well. So we'll keep you updated. I'll send it back to you.